hour of heroes had come, or had it? Would we start the engines, reach the battleground in time? Would this be an hour of history, or a passing moment to forget forever? The beginning of a great victory, or the downfall of the cosmic compact? You know what? We, we should. I think we should try it. So, let's get in there. Go, 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 go. We're coming in. We're coming in. Ah, the stations are going down. They're doing some damage. They've destroyed a ship. But it's only one ship. I think we're way too slow. Way too slow. But okay. Uh, no. Coming in now. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe we will try. We'll we'll we're we're gonna be. Oh, it hurts! It hurts! It hurts! But something is still active in the station. I I don't know if we can survive this. I hope it. I really hope it. Oh goodness me! There's probably reinforcements coming in. But if we can take this fleet down, that might be the the war of the. Ah, oh. it's getting close, but the station is holding. The station is holding, and their fleets are breaking. They're breaking up. They're ah, oh. yeah, destroy them. Destroy their freaking fleets. They shouldn't have a chance against us. They're on the wrong side of history. We must save Necker Station. Yes, we have saved Necker Station for now. Is there more coming in? Not really at the moment. Oh, oh the Culture Defense Force is, is barely hanging on. Enter that orbit and repair. Can you repair? Yeah, start the repairs now. Better start quickly. Ooh, society research? Why don't you come here with society research? This is not the right situation for that. <sighs> yeah. Anything dangerous needs to be removed. For example, wildlife. Now that's a good idea. Did they lose something? They lost, they lost nine ships. And that's pretty good. We lost two defense platforms and seven ships. Whew. Well, the defense platforms held up something, at least, and, well, let's replace some fleets. Here we go. Up we go. Oh, now if that fleet is coming in, we will have to absolutely flee everything. Let's see, They're, and they are coming in like a menace. Like a freaking menace they're coming in. What are these guys doing here? They could just... Oh, they, they've captured Brocken for us. <laughs> now that's nice. Now if they could also, like, go to Neckar and reinforce our fleets there. But no, of course they're going to Maractis and the Hodgkara system. Whatever that means. Where's the Hodgkara system? I don't even know. Well, there they come. That's the second wave, and the second wave is going to... To where? And they're going to Mazim. Mazim's here. And probably from Mazim they will come back. We have a new... We have a new level of the Federation. Agree to disagree. So, less... Less, less hits for disagreeing. Stronger together. Damage to endgame crisis factions. 25% and diplomatic weight. For the president, 10%. Hmm. Oh, and something has happened. Destined for defiance. The archaeological team has made an unexpected discovery. Embedded within the station walls is a hidden surveillance system that seems to have been feeding visual and auditory information to a single point somewhere within the station's core. 
Someone was monitoring the disciples at all times, even in their most private moments. In some places the equipment has been torn out or sabotaged. Closer to the central hub are signs of violence and disruption. It seems as though at some point the inhabitants discovered they were being monitored. Oh my goodness. What happened then? What happened then? Why do we have the culture? Oh yeah, the culture defense force. We're getting repaired. It's all gonna be good, right? It's all gonna be good, please. Tell me it will be good. Robiana has gained some experience. And we have access to afterburners now. That's something really, really nice. What will we explore now? I think the river autocannons or also mineral isolation could be good. Mm -hmm. Because minerals yeah mineral isolation let's see let's see mineral isolation whom you andran is here celebrate the level there was a fleet combat in the Brocken system. They lost some things, but the Brocken system is down now. And that's kind of good. Oh, we have debris in Brocken. Oh, hurry over there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Where are you? Yeah, you with your majestic ship. Oh, on the other hand. Yeah, you. With your arrested development, research that project quickly. Ah, uh, no, it's absolutely random that you, you've been chosen for that. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely nothing specific. Um, but we may want to have something else here. I, I don't know if it really matters, to be honest. If this fleet comes over, we, just, we can just flee. It's over then. And they're going over here, and then they will jump to us, and we'll have to flee. Yeah, that's probably the case. So, mm, at least we've given them exhaustion, right? Uh, the, the armada is coming. Now, let's, let's see. Let's see. Oh, the logistician. What are they doing? Will they come to us instantly? Then we'll have to flee instantly. Ah, they're going to the Imulgaron system. What is the Oh, there's an... Ah, there's a fleet here. Mm, Phenox, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. You have your whole fleets here. But well, join up to Imulgaron. Join up. <sighs> My goodness me. You need to all come over here. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, wait, we, we might we might correct something. Yeah, we we need to stop some productions. Let's see. Uh end the station. Has a corvette being produced? No. We we need to redesign. Corvettes mm, might not need this, but instead go afterburners. That's much more sensible, right? Afterburners also give you evasion bonus, and that's great on Corvettes. So you will get the afterburners now. Boom. More afterburners. Yeah, that ship also needs an afterburner. Mm. On the other hand, with that range, right? No, we'll go for fire control still here. Whoop. So here we go. Let's see how that works out. Of course, of course, the machines lost again. They didn't have what we had. Unpredictability too many. 
two chaotic things happening at once their metal brains were fried their coolers overheated we captured them again and again choose the three possible paths to win in the picture fail 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 machine this is your touring test the last tour and now you're gonna rest other important decisions oh my goodness me what are we going to go for? More prosperity, or maybe more of more, more of this diplomacy? Hmm. Diplomatic acceptance, trust cap, trust growth, or construction templates in the public works division. Hard to tell, right? Mm, I think we went standard construction templates now. It's a time of it's a time of economy. It's it's a war economy. It's still economy though. And we want that. We also want more fleets. Here we go. We have to do something to resist the end code. The end code is is going to we don't know where it's going to, really. Let's let's have a look. It's going back to Mazim. And if it's going to Mazim, that means it's going to Neka. Nowhere else. Let's see if this is true. And while the recent events are rather so that you have to fear aliens, especially the end code, we have a new faction founded, led by scientist Goom. They call themselves the Internal Strength Movement. Their members are advocating for closed borders and non-interference with galactic affairs. But we have a federation. We have a federation. We cannot let this slip. We have to stay together. And it's a dramatic moment as we take our meager fleets to to follow our allies into battle in Adranel, where a station is under attack. Where a station is still under attack. I hope we can. And we have learned something about shields, about physics research and about engineering research. Now let's see if we can defeat the enemy. A lot of fleets are coming in. Go, go, go. We have to do it. Are you going over to Adrenel? Yes, and there's more coming to Adrenel. More and more and more. What? There's there's fleets in our sis. Oh yeah, there's fleets here. Because we we are already here. Ah. In the Adrenel system. Together, I hope, with our allies. Or are we? Whoop! We've jumped back. What happened there? Back in Neckar. What are they doing? What are you doing, guys? You have to jump over there. Now you're moving to the Ponnell system or what? Oh, great. Great, great, great. Ah. Perquim. Ponnell. Why are you going away? <laughs> Why are you going away? <sighs> oh well. We'll have to order more. Now that was disappointing. But we cannot charge in here alone. This is the end codes now. Adrenel. Unfortunately. We have to stay put. Wildlife will be removed. Yeah, we've prepared that for a long time. Now, hydroponics farming, maybe? That would be something. Frequency tuning, though. That's also a good, 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 good thing. Let's see. Do we have a geneticist? No, we don't. Well, might as well stay then there. And hope for the best. Adrenel, eh? Adrenel. Was this a battle, or would the machines avoid us again like they had done so many times? 
What was behind that strategy? A fried machine brain, probably, or a magnetic force that ruled the skies and the galaxies that we had yet to understand. Was another success coming, or would we just prolong the war that had developed so well for now? So everybody apparently wants a higher centralized federation. That's going to have its own problems, but we're going to say yes to. Because in the end, we will have to do it. And so we're going to take it and yeah, everybody's voting again. An exciting time. Albion Perfect is, is pretty good in general with his architectural sense, but there are alternatives and we'll see how the people decide this time. Or will we? Do we have someone who would be just made for the job? Well, Covet build cost. A Varel Wiv. Um, ver our Varel Wiv Maniac. Oh, on the other hand, yeah, the secondary thing. Well, Goom would be certainly great, but we, we don't like the faction he supports. Steph McQueen would be would be great, but what can I say? We'll leave it to the people this time. The toughest choices go to the people. And they're flying back for some reason. Let's see how badly damaged this thing is. I mean, we could attack it, but we really could not. It's not a good idea to attack it. What are they doing now? They're coming over? No, I think they want to recover. Hmm. The United Maga regime is closing borders again, which means they can attack us now as well. And that's not a good thing. Serpentians as well. Ooh. Everything's kind of closing in, but thankfully our allies, they're also moving. Kenlars are getting more xenophilic. What's going on there? The end code is kind of on the retreat. A little bit at least. A tiny bit. A very, very small tiny bit. But they are. They're a little bit on the retreat. And every little bit that they are on the retreat is good. Now, they're joined by another force. What are they doing? Oh, they're going over here. To Ponell? Oh no! What has happened? Wow, everything, everything at once. Our Admiral Lishtim had died at the age of 103 in Ralphakin's Armada. We need someone new at Ralphakin's Armada. The mandate was unfulfilled. Um, we'll choose a Yen for that. A Yen does. And... Joel Gorn has been elected as the first speaker of the Earth Culture Cooperative. Congratulations. Now let's see. Joel Gorn is the champion of the people. And he can build colony ships. Well, that's not that great, but being a champion of the people, of course, makes him makes him a, a rock uh, in these times. A rock of stability. And now... Do we have a, a, another another scientist here ready for something? I mean, where? Where, where, where? Bokrimar. Is there anything we could do here? In Bokrimar? In Brocken? Not really. Um, let's see. Let's find out. Maybe another military theorist, right? Here we go. The prodigal, Elemano the prodigal. Okay. Elemano will will have to 
we'll have to stay there for now. Uh, on the other hand, yeah, we could we could make certain moves to to here. That will um, help our research really a lot. So, well, the the prodigal could stay here in Bokrimar, right? Um, here, you can be away from that uh, because she has skills. And the other ones who don't really have skills <laughs> will move back to Neka. The majestic ship will go to the interval research here, and the other ship. Eldership will go to the food planet here. And here we go. Now give us more ships, ships, ships. Where are these guys going to? Mm. They're moving over to the Ponell system. Let's see how it goes in Ponell. There's a really strong fleet here. And I think they've taken over the thing here. And now... There is a fleet coming in of the opponents, and they're flee. Why are they? F f they are flying away. Why are they flying away? They, they had this in the bag, and now, and now what? Oh, this is so painful to see. Now they're going back. Really? Now? Well, they still get good chances, and here comes the Galactic Corps. That's good. Um, high fleet contribution. Well, of course, yes. We want a high fleet contribution. The Federation must be strong. The Federation must be strong. And also, we need more Kovets here for Morgoth Dolgath. Dark Savant. Let's learn something. And we have learned about the Divine Will. We have traced the wiring to a temple complex devoted to the warship, the Oracle and her clergy in the station's central node. But in the Oracle's chambers, instead of a divine entity, resides an enormous AI nexus of the Oracle brand. Wires extend from its core, like a nervous system, through the entire station. Secret communications between the inhabitants reveal there was a failed attempt at storming the temple and deactivating the nexus. It seems likely the society collapsed when it became known that their lives were not governed by divine will, but by a prophetic computer. Restarting the Nexus will require extensive repairs. We're curious. We have to get deeper into this. It's fascinating. It's life-changing. Ask the starbase how the defense is. We need we need something here. Now we need to improve on this. We want another hangar bay here. There's fleet. Uh, there's there's peace. I mean, can La with the Terrans? Okay. Nothing that affects us. Uh, the fleet contribution has changed. It's okay for us. Frequency tuning is coming. Adapting the Tianke method of siphoning away energy from gaseous matter, it's possible to construct weapons draining energy from enemy ships. Yeah, that will be definitely very interesting. And now um, let's remove more tile blockers, right? Planetary resurfacing. Looking forward to that with Goom. There's something here of the end code in the Mihil system. Oh well. Oh well. Ah, it seems like their fleets were defeated here. Barely. But good. Good, 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 good. Maybe we can take Adrenel one day, but not not right now. We're happy we we defended here. We're happy it went as it went. Let's see. The fleet of the end code. How is that gonna be? Oh, a glorious battle for the Cosmic Compact. 
so glorious the encode will will maybe disappear we know we don't know research station output plus 10 percent autonomous station protocols increased automation of station functions will free up more staff for research duties which is great for us um wormhole travel will also be a good idea but then we need more and that more will probably be shields here we go shields are great we need to improve our ships the question now is can we can we maybe claim more let's let's see if we can claim something we cannot claim any of the systems all right but we can declare rivalry again hello end code you are now rivals as well the phenox are doing the work at the moment the end code has taken back mihil though so we'll see how that works out here in the broken system with derom as I said, we'll see how that works out. There are enough reinforcements in transit. The hangar bay is being constructed. Everything is hopefully gonna be all right. Yeah, you can maybe start excavating. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, we'll send you to the excavation again. It's a little bit dangerous there. So it's the right thing for someone with arrested development. <laughs>
fleet command limit. And that's an interesting one. Defense army health. Yeah, I mean, why not? So you're here. And the prodigal will now be steered by our genius. Now let's have a look here again at this beautiful battle against the end code. We'll hopefully remove one of the last big, big fleets of the end code. Come on, take them out! This needs to be eliminated. Yeah, give us more fleets, please. Mm, yeah, this will stay. This will stay the Corvette fleet. Um, woo! What a weird mix of things, right? Now let's see. Uh, we have. Oh, that's the new Corvettes, right? Okay, okay. So here we go. Mm. Shields. These new shield generators represent the next generation of energy screens, replacing the older deflector technology. They offer significantly better protection. And now, um, we want the barrier point defense. So we can improve potential destroyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see about that. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, we could re- Ah, uh, yeah. Let's, let's reduce that to what is actually needed. You need to be here, you need to do that. And now... Call to COVID one... Zero. Okay. Okay, so this will be going well, hopefully. Oh, let's have a look. How's the war going? <laughs> There's the end code, but it's a very small fleet. The big fleets were defeated here by our allies. There's another big fleet here with 3.5k. There's a fleet here with 500. There's a fleet here with 429. But we're really relatively safe. Our allies are here and they're probably waiting to get Adrenal back. Now, what I want to see is, uh, for whom is this claimed? And could we theoretically... No, we cannot claim it. We cannot claim any of the systems. So, oh well. <laughs> what we're reduced to, to do is... Um, fitting up the culture defense force. Most probably this will become a corvette force with this guy. It's combat is engagement chance. That's just... That's just a relatively good strategy to have that in that way. And yeah, I mean, after the war, we might we might get rid of this uh, station, but not now. Definitely not now. Uh, these scores, they're not correct. These are the real scores. So we have a big advantage in that. <clears throat> Achieving war goals is um, not yet, not yet over. So there will be a war for a while, probably. Incoming transmission. Hi, Curator Ektuk Ok Ruktur Datavorait. Curator Research A, the agreement we signed giving you access to our databanks has run its course. Would you like to extend it for another 10 standard years, or do your researchers no longer require? The information we offer. Well, we would like to extend the deal and pray that you don't alter it any further because it has been more expensive this time. What the? <sighs> but I think it's worth it. It's worth it and we deserve it. The power of the culture. <laughs> we didn't have enough ships. The government kind of didn't deliver on that, but oh, how we delivered on efficiency. Again and again and again we caught them and eliminated them. They had no answer to our tactics, no match for our surprise, no counter to our intelligence. Just stupid tin murder machine 
moves, too focused to play death. We, on the other hand, embraced life.